Hello all, it's update time again. This is my first update for the new year. I realised recently that I haven't updated any of my collections other than VHS for ages. I think the last time I updated my DVD collection was in 2013, and with my Blu-rays it was in 2012. But yeah, I've got three VHS tapes, ten DVDs, two standalone Blu-rays, and two Blu-ray box sets. This might last for quite a while. This update will be available in 60 frames a second. I've decided I'm going to do all my updates from now on in 60 frames a second. Just going to put that out there. So yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's going to move on. So we're going to start off with the three VHS tapes. The first of which is Music Box, a Costa Gamfras film with Jessica Lange. This is a Guild Home video release from 1991, I think. Yeah, 1991. This runs for two hours. You may be able to like guess some of what I've got coming up from the music. There's the Guild Boss case. The second video is Miracle Mile, only 59 minutes to Meltdown. This tape is really weird. It's meant to be an RCA Columbia Pictures video release, but it's a Columbia TriStar release as you can see because I've got their logo there, there, and also it's not on the back. This runs for 84 minutes. And there's the tape itself, with a, quite a shiny logo hologram there, so at least it's genuine. And there's this, I don't, I honestly don't get it, I think it might just be a re-release or something, but I didn't really think this would be the kind of film to get a re-release. And the final video is Late for Dinner. The Doctor promised a deep sleep, who was to know it would last 29 years? It's the uh, first independent release from 1992 I think. It's a new line release, their logo doesn't appear at the start of a movie, but Castle Rocks does. This runs for 89 minutes. And here's the tape itself. It's an end label, presumably advertising something. It's been ripped, so I can't see what's on it. And there's the first independent hologram. We're now moving on to the 10 DVDs. And the first one is an American DVD, Napoleon Dynamite, which I really like this film. Vote for the Pedro! You'll laugh till it hurts, according to Peter Travers. This is a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release from 2004, I think. This includes the widescreen and the full screen versions. This is a double sided disc. Uh, it runs for 95 minutes. And there's side one of the disc. I'm not going to show side two because that will involve like showing my face on camera. And here's the chapter selection screen. And we're now moving on to the UK DVDs, first which is a consideration copy of Layer Cake with Daniel Craig, Cole Meany, Sienna Miller and Michael Gambon. I like how they've like incorporated for your consideration into the, like, the original artwork of the movie. It's a Columbia TriStar Home Video DVD from 2004. It's not technically not a release because it's not meant to be released. This runs for 1 hour and 45 minutes. And here's the disc itself, it's kind of bland, although they weren't actually meant to be releasing it. So that probably explains why. I don't I don't remember, I don't think I actually, I actually ever knew what this got nominated for. I'll make sure to look it up and I'll put it in the annotations. Next one, we're now moving on to like normal, like, sold, sold DVDs. First one of which is Argo, with Ben Affleck, Brian Cranston, Alan Arkin and John Goodman. It won Best Picture at the Oscars, presented to them by Michelle Obama and the BAFTA for best film. You're a sweating tension. It's an Warner Home Video release from 2013, I think. This pack includes the DVD and the ultraviolet copy. Runs for 115 minutes. It contains strong language in the classic line, Argo, fuck yourself. And this is the ultraviolet thing. I'm crudely covering it up because I don't want you stealing my ultraviolet code. And here's the disc itself, which is the artwork of the teaser poster, but I'm not sure. Next one is Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa, 12 hostages, 24 hours, one partridge. This is a Studio Canal release from 2013. This is a brilliantly funny film, one of my favourite films of 2013, really recommended. It runs for 86 minutes. And here's the disc itself, and this, well this has an advert for a radio on the back. Uh, What's this? That's just advertising the book of the script. Next one is Mud, 
with Matthew McConaughey, Ty Sheridan, Sam Shepard, and Reese Witherspoon. This is Matthew McConaughey's signature. I went to the Interstellar premiere in central London. He signed this, which is quite nice of him. This is an Entertainment One release from 2013, I think. This runs for 125 minutes. And then here's the disc itself, which is basically the cover art and some other stuff. Next one is The Devil Wears Prada with Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway. This is Anne Hathaway's signature. She was also at the Interstellar premiere and she signed it. She's lovely. It's a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release from 2008, I think. This film is a PG. I don't know what it's saying about like a 12. And here's the disc itself. It's a PG in Ireland. Next one is UHF with Weird Al Yankovic. It's an MGM release from 2003, I think. I love this film, it's really funny, I recommend you check it out. This one's for 1 hour 33 minutes. And here's the disc itself, which is basically the cover art. And that's the German rating, it's a 12 for whatever reason. I didn't know this DVD existed. I ha also have the US DVD and the VHS, and I was hoping to get the Blu-ray, but that never happened. Next one is the Grand Budapest Hotel, with Ray Fiennes, F. Murray Abraham, Matthew Enelake, Adrian Brody, Willem Dafoe, Jeff Goldblum, Harvey Keitel, Jude Law, Bill Murray, Edward Norton, Sasha Ronan, Jason Schwartzman, Leia Seydoux, Tilda Swinton, Tom Wilkinson, Owen Wilson, and Tony Revoloni. It's quite a cast. It's a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release from 2014. This is a really fucking good film. I loved it. It's easily my favourite film of last year. Check it out. This runs for 95 minutes. And here's the disc, which has a like a blueprint of the ho hotel. Next one is Guardians of the Galaxy with Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Vin Diesel, and Bradley Cooper. This is a Buena Vista home video release from 2014, I think. I went to the premiere of this. Vin Diesel signed my copy of The Iron Giant, which I have like downstairs. I don't have it on, on me at the moment, but I'll show it to you in another video. It runs for 116 minutes, and this is a really good film. Easily the best Marvel film. I loved it. Here's the disc, which is grey because Disney are boring. And the final DVD is First Blood with Sylvester Stallone. This is an Optimum Home Entertainment release from 2008. Shortly, not shortly before they went, went on a late turn to Studio Canal because that was 2011. This runs for 89 minutes. This just says Rambo First Blood in it, which I suppose would make sense because Studio Canal presumably also released the second one and the third one because they had the rights to Rocco films now. We're now moving on to the two standalone Blu-rays, the first of which is Run Fat Boy Run with Simon Pegg, Tandy Newton and Hank Azaria. But look, love, commitment, responsibility, there's nothing you can't run away from. It's an entertainment and video release from 2008, I think, it doesn't have a date on the back. This runs for 100 minutes and it's full HD 1080 apparently. And there's the disc itself, not for rental, and the, this is the chapter selection thing, I think. The second standalone Blu-ray Blu is Evil Dead 2, with Bruce Campbell and Sarah Berry. It's the special edition. It's the Studio Canal release from 2013, I think. I love this film. It's easily the best Evil Dead film, and it's quite funny as well. Like, actually, to put it one way, it's groovy. It contains strong bloody horror. It's a quite strong for a 15, it was an 18 up until like 2008. It runs for 84 minutes. Uh, uh, there's the disc itself. And we're now moving on to the two Blu-ray box sets, the first of which is the Dark Knight trilogy. The limited edition box set with Batman Begins, the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises. I'm just going to show you the dimensions of the box first. Uh, because, yeah, like, Batman Begins runs for 140 minutes, The Dark Knight for 153, Dark Knight Rises for 164. This pack includes Blu-ray and Ultraviolet. For rental or resale? Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to try and get the discs out. Also comes with this book about, like, the, the art and name it, making of the Dark Knight trilogy. I'll put that there. And that's the disc for... Batman Begins, uh, 
two discs for the Dark Knight and two discs for the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, weird that like, Batman Begins only has one disc. Maybe we don't like it as much. We're going to try to get this back in the slipcase. Let's put it like that. And I'm not going to try and get the book back in, so that's going to be something. And the final thing in this update is the Stanley Kubrick Visionary Filmmaker Collection box set with the Lolita 2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, Barry Lyndon, The Shining, Full Metal Jacket, and Eyes Wide Shut. It's a Warner Home video release from... I don't know when this is from, but it, does, it doesn't have Doctor Strangelove in it, which is probably because MGM have those rights, I think. And I'm going to, like, show you the actual case. This is mostly the same. Uh, Lolita runs for 147 minutes, 2001 for 148, Clockwork Orange for 137, Barry Lyndon for 178, The Shining for 119, which is disappointing because there's a version that's like half an hour longer and they haven't included it on this, Full Metal Jacket for 112 and Eyes Wide Shut for 159. It also has like a thing about Stanley Kubrick, A Life in Pictures, and like Oh Lucky Malcolm. I'm gonna open this up. Uh, that's that's the disc for. Oh, yeah. This is for Lolita 2001. Uh, Clockwork Orange, Barry Lyndon, The Shining, Full Metal Jacket, Eyes Wide Shut, and that's the bonus features. I'm gonna try to get this back in its slipcase. Looks like a charm. And that is it for my like multimedia update. So, yeah, if you want me to do the openings to any of these, just let me know when I'll do them. I have, like, a whole bunch lined up to record, like, later. Hmm. That was kind of weird, like...